Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The work and material resource types that you have created within the previous lessons in this chapter can have default costs and or pay rates that are associated with them. This assists you in recording the costs associated with completing your tasks. This information can help you keep your project within its financial constraints and help you improve your future estimates of costs involved with certain tasks within your project. You can enter the default costing information of a resource directly into the resource sheet view of your project file. For work resources that are also people resources, you can enter their default pay rates into the standard rate and overtime rate fields for the resources that appear in the resource sheet view in Microsoft Project. For material resources, you can enter a rate based on the use or consumption of the material resource. Many times, this information is entered into the cost per use field, although you can also specify a standard rate for material resources if needed. Conversely, you can input a cost per use value for people resources, although this is less commonly used for people resources. Now also if desired, you can select a resource from the resource sheet view and then click the resource information button within the properties group on the resource tab in the ribbon in order to open the resource information dialog box. Within this dialog box, you can click the costs tab in order to enter detailed costing information. On the Costs tab, you can set detailed costing information that you cannot set by simply using the cells available in the Resource Sheet view. Also note that cost data cannot be set when initially creating the items within the Resource Sheet view. It can only be added after you've saved the resource into the Resource Sheet as an editing task. Note that on the Costs tab, you can enter the same rate information that you have available in the Resource Sheet view. However, you can also specify different rates based on different dates by entering the date that the new rates are to take effect into the Effective Date column and then entering the new rates as of that date. Also note that you are entering this information into Tab A within the Costs tab. You should note that there are also four other tabs that you can use in order to enter different pay rate tables. The different pay rates shown on the different tables can then assist you in using different pay rates for different types of work that the work resource can perform. For example, a single work resource that earns one pay rate for painting and another pay rate for roofing. In this case, you can enter the two rates onto these two tabs, A and then B, and then switch the rate based on which type of task is being performed. Also note that for costing data, you can indicate when you want the cost to be incurred by using the Cost Accrual dropdown. This will tell Microsoft Project when to report the costs as being incurred for this resource. The default value is prorated, meaning the cost will be shown as the work is accomplished. However, you can also incur the entire cost at the start or end of the assigned task. Once you've set the desired costing data within the Costs tab of the Resource Information dialog box, be sure to click the OK button within the dialog box in order to save your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.